Hello, thank you for joining me on this uh, this tutorial today. I'll be taking you through how I process an image in Lightroom and then even add a little bit extra to the image in Photoshop. Let's begin. So here we have um, an image of uh, some signage. I actually designed this signage um, and it, it's, it's up in location uh, near to where I live. Um, so this is, is an image I just took generally for, for my portfolio and um, I always underexpose my images um, just so I get more out of the image and I can, um, I can push the image a little bit further in Lightroom. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go over here to uh, the crop and adjust it a little bit so I'm going to, I'm just going to straighten that bit up there and um, just generally keep that in line maybe, maybe a bit more over there just center it a little bit on the whole image okay and then I'm going to press done so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the exposure I'm just going to boost this up a little bit bring it up a little bit I'm just gonna add a bit more of a, a yellow hit into it. Bring down the highlights. Always love to play around with the, the, the clarity here. It just it gives it that, that extra bump, as you can see. If I move the slider, it just just makes things pop a little bit more. Um, if you come right down, it, it's a dramatic change it, it's softer um, so yeah what I generally like to do is just just boost the clarity up a little bit and just so it pops I mean, you can just so I mean you can do whatever you're you're happy with your image um, this is just really simple tweaks just to make that image a, a little bit better um, so what I'm going to come down here is I'm going to come down to the lens correction so I'm going to take these two boxes here um, and just tidy it up a little bit um, and then with this one, the profile corrections, I'm going to do that and then it's going to ask you to put your lens in. So I generally shoot on Canon and it's going to automatically pick what I was shooting on and I'm going to, after that's done, so it's just generally you can look through and you have a host of, of lenses if, if it's not picked the correct one but it generally does pick the correct one um, let's go down next I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna add a little vignette to it um, this just draws your eye into the image like in, into the, the subject area we want we want people to be looking at the main subject area which is here um, so I'm just gonna just gonna add a little vignette in there, just draws your eyes in a little bit further. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back up here now because obviously it's a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna boost that up a little bit more. Just don't think I'm, I'm happy with that there. And maybe just bring that down. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Um, just bring that up. So I think I'm fairly happy with that from where we um, where we began. Um, and I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it across to um, Photoshop just to add that little bit extra. Just just a little thing that could improve it a little bit more so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to edit in and then edit in Adobe Photoshop and this will automatically take you through to uh, Photoshop okay so as you can see we're now in um, Photoshop and we have our image now a general rule of thumb that I like to, to do is I'll unlock the layer, I'll just double click on it. 
that should un unlock it. If not, there is a padlock up here that you can um, that you can tick, and it'll lock it or unlock it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it down to this this corner here, uh, to the box with an X on it, uh, cross on it even, and that's going to duplicate my image now. I always like to keep the original there just in case we we make some mistake that we don't want to do. It's just always handy there just to have the original image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that eye off there um, and we're going to work on this um, layer that we've just duplicated now. So just to add that little extra finish to this image, what I think I'm going to do is if we go across up to uh, filters, um, this is where you can put a whole host of, of effects and, and general trickery and you, you play around with it, you know, have, have a play around with these things, they're, they're great to, to uh, teach yourself. Uh, so what I'm going to actually do is I am going to put some um, motion blur um, on this. So it's going to add, although there's a little bit of motion on the car, we're going to add a little bit more. So I'm going to press motion blur. As you can see, now it makes the image look horrendous. But um, we will fix that in a minute. So you can play around with how much motion you want in there. I mean, you could go drastic, but I don't think that's going to help either. Um, so I'm going to bring it round about to bring it down a little bit more to there. I think that's that'll be fine. So you can also set the uh, angle. I'm quite happy with this angle because obviously the, the car's moving in, in one direction, but um, just to show you, you can move it around and it'll add, it'll, you know, change the motion blur to to any direction that you, you see fit. So I'm just going to take that back to uh, zero and I'm going to apply it by pressing OK. What I'm going to actually do is go back to this master layer and duplicate it again. So I've got the normal layer behind. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get my eraser, which is over here. And uh, now the shortcut is if, if you're using a Mac like I am, you just press E and you've got your eraser tool here. So what you can do is you play around with um, the opacity, so this will, will you know, take off less, um, it'll be less harsh on an erase. If I put it up to um, 100, it will erase, oh I'm on the wrong <laughs> It will erase, um, you see, more. So just, um, yeah, just have a play around with your settings so you're comfortable with, with what you've got um, and make sure you're on the correct layer um, that you want to erase the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the background. Now, as you can see, this, this is going to bring um, everything back into focus because I'm erasing all that blur um, from this this top image. There is a faster way um, that I'm going to do now, just speed this video up a little bit. So I'm going to uh, press L on my um, Mac and I'm just going to draw around this just roughly so I get to the end and I'm going to raise that um, okay so now you can see we are back to we've got the majority of it back in focus so this is where I'm going to steadily creep up onto the, the car and just take off those little bits until I'm happy with, with the image uh, you can go back and forth with this um, until, you, until you're happy with it and just bringing that little bit back over here now that just adds that little bit of an improvement to the image a bit of an edge a bit of action a bit of movement you see it's a bit boring there 
I, for me, I think it adds that little bit more to the image. And I think I'm fairly happy with that. If you want to add a bit more, um, you can go up to motion blur again. Um, I thought that would have led. Um, and you can add a bit more uh, to it. If you wanted to just give it a little bit more, but I'd say you don't you don't want to go too drastic on it. Um, I think it there's about fine for me. Uh, just make sure it's off the totem. And I think I'm done with that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press um, Command and S to save it, or you can go up to file and save. So this is now saving so what it's going to do once it's saved it's going to take this copy this edited version back over to lightroom if we go into lightroom as you'll see there we've got the um the, the edited one and then we've got the original and i think if we go to this one that one you can see the before and after here of the um this before we started editing this is obviously the after uh, version and we've got to uh, this one um obviously this is what's um basically before and after so there we go and thank you for watching if you could um like uh, if you've got any comments, uh, drop them in the, the comments below and press that all important subscribe button. Thank you.